Hey guys, it's Erica and welcome to my plant graveyard. These are my plants that I have recently killed and you know it's recent because I still have their dead corpses with me right now. That sounds a little bit morbid but um, I just wanted to make this video because I feel like plants do die and I don't know. Sometimes it just, it happens. I know I feel super bad about killing these plants. What makes it even more frustrating about these plants that I have killed is that these are supposed to be easy to care for plants. Whenever you see these plants talked about, people are like, oh yeah, those plants are so easy. You give them the light they need, you water them whenever, and they'll be set. No, <laughs> that is not how I felt about these plants. Okay, honestly, some of them died due to neglect, but some of them died even though I really tried. Let's just get right into it. First one I'm gonna start off with is a Hoya obovada. Here it is, this was a Hoya obovada and it is dead. I have kept this plant for a really long time. I don't know, I feel weird about throwing plants away even once they're dead. I don't know if, if you can relate to that or that's just some weird thing that I do, but I feel bad throwing them away even though <laughs> they're dead. So this was a Hoyo Bovada. When I bought it, it I'm not sure if it was healthy, but it had these brown spots underneath the leaves and they're kind of indented brown spots, but I really wanted the plant so I bought it anyways and it was doing fine for a while and then I accidentally left it on the sun and that's where it started going downhill so I accidentally left it on in the sun and the top part started crisping off and one of the bottom leaves started getting it got sunburnt so that was a problem and then on top of that I think that I overwatered it because the leaves were feeling mushy and they started turning yellow and I for some reason I thought it was still because I was giving that too much sun so I brought it inside my bedroom and there's there's not a lot of light in my bedroom and this is before I had these grow lights here so I kept it in here and it definitely I'm gonna say it definitely needed more sun and when I finally realized that it needed more sun I took it outside but I think it was already too late. All the leaves were yellowing and they were squishy and the plant just couldn't make it through. So yep, plant number one, Hoyo bovada, killed. Next plant that I have here is a Peperomia Rosso. Here it is. I tried saving it like, like three days ago, but it was just too far gone to save. So I've had this plant for quite a while and I don't know, I guess I had it for so long that I kind of just forgot about it. Um, I didn't water it like ever. And then I, <laughs> when I started watering it, it was kind of too late. So yeah, it, it didn't make it. I tried to repot it, look at its roots, see how they were doing and see if I could repot it, maybe Put it in water to save it but no this little guy's a goner this is the healthiest part of the leaves that were there so as you can tell they're not doing well at all so that's plant number two a peperomia rosso and by the way let me just say peperomias are my struggle plant for some reason i'm just so bad at taking care of them i can't i can't do it you know what, I don't want to say I can't because that's kind of like, I need to put put it out there that I know how to take care of pepperomia. I'm just going to tell people that I'm a pepperomia master and they're going to be like, oh, why have you killed so many? And I'll just be like, you got to fake it till you make it. <laughs> Anyways, so this here I think is a, I think is a pepperomia orba, but I am not quite sure at all. For some reason, I have no idea what was going through my head. When I bought it, I thought it was a goldfish plant. This does not really look like a goldfish plant, so I have no idea what I was thinking. But that is what I thought, and I didn't like really give it a good look at. 
So I took it home and I was like, all right, this is a goldfish plant. We're gonna make sure it doesn't dry out. We're gonna we're gonna keep it nice and healthy because at the time it was like really hot outside. It was like 110 degrees. So I wanted to make sure the soil didn't dry up too fast because I wanted to keep this plant alive. And so what I have learned about peperomia is that they are super prone to root rot and you definitely do not want to overwater a peperomia. But since I thought that this was a goldfish plant, I watered it too soon. And that happened like twice because the second time that I watered it, I looked at it and I saw that it had um, like the little rat tail flowers that peperomia have and I was like, oh my gosh, this is a peperomia. What have I done? This is not gonna survive. So I, I was like, you know, it's so hot outside. The water's gonna dry up so fast. This plant's gonna be fine. Guess what? It wasn't. The next day when I looked at it, so before I killed it, this plant had a bunch of these little, um, I guess, stems, and there was a bunch of them in a four inch pot. This one is one that I saved, so. Anyways, so there was a bunch of them in a four inch pot, and like every single day that I looked at it, one little tower of these leaves would fall. So I was just slowly watching them all die, and their leaves were falling off and it was so sad but every time one of them fell down I propagated it so I have I have a few of them water propagating right now so I didn't completely lose the plant and I was also able to save this last one because I was like I'm not gonna wait for this little one to fall down too I'm gonna repot it and put it in some different soil so I have it in a very well draining potting mix I think this is cactus soil um, orchid bark and perlite. So I'm, I'm hoping this plant survives because its root system is shot. Its root system is shot, but the plant looks fine for now. I think I did that about a week ago, so I'm very hopeful for this plant. Um, but yeah, that is plant number three that I have almost killed. <laughs> kind of like my watermelon peperomia. These are kind of the same story there. Um, but yeah. And then the next plant that I have is a Tillandsia xerographica. And if you guys have been following along my channel, you know that this is my little donut plant. And I'm so sad about this plant being dead. Um, so air plants are very easy to care for. You just put them in a uh, bright spot, no direct light, and somewhere where they get a lot of airflow, and you spray them once a week, and you can just soak them in water every two weeks, and then it should be good. It's not that difficult to take care of, but here it is. Mine is shriveled and dead, and it died of root rot. Here it is. Very sad. Let me give you the story on how this plant came to be like this. So, like I said, this summer has been very hot. I don't want to blame anyone here. <laughs> that already sounds like I'm putting blame on someone. Okay, anyways, what happened is that I, my mom has seen me soak this plant before. And whenever I soaked it in water, I would always let it dry face down because if water gets into this area and it stays in this area it is going to rot the little plant roots or the center of the plant and that is the fastest way to kill this plant so she thought it looked a little thirsty and I could say that maybe I could have watered this plant more often and this could have been prevented but she also did what she's seen me do before. I don't know if I said it, but this is my mom I'm talking about. Okay, so then I guess she soaked it how I soaked it. But when she left it to dry, she kept it like this. And the next morning, I went outside to go look at my plants. And I saw my xerographica sitting on the table, sitting like this. 
and there was like a ring around the center and that was when I knew something happened so I asked my mom I was like did you did you water my to lend my air plant my little donut and she was like yeah it looked really thirsty and I was like okay and I didn't want to hurt her feelings because she was trying to help so I didn't tell her that she murdered it at first um <laughs> at first but um yeah I went back outside and I flipped it upside down and a bunch of water came out and that was when I knew this plant was done because once these plants get rotted they there is no bringing them back so yep it's been sitting outside for like a week now so yeah these plants have been murdered pretty recently all at the same time so <laughs> but um yeah it's a really sad story and I am gonna buy a new one because I love my little donut and my little donut is now dead rest in peace I don't really know what to do with his little body or his big body this is a pretty giant plant but um you know it happens just gotta keep learning from the mistakes that happen and that's how we can become better plant lovers better plant parents is from learning from your mistakes this is the last plant that I have killed and it is a pothos enjoy um so this plant is just one of those plants that i neglected to take care of this plant was not getting enough light i wanted to keep it in my room for aesthetics but and i would occasionally take it outside to get light but it wasn't getting enough so the leaves started yellowing they started falling off and at one point once i took it outside and tried to recover the plant um it just wasn't getting any better and it eventually just almost all died so I took out the plant from its pot and I saved whatever pieces that I could so there is I think this big piece is the only one that's gonna end up living from this propagation because these leaves here aren't doing well at all but uh, pothos are very easy to care for but it was just it was just me neglecting my plant, being a bad plant mom, so that sometimes happens also. Could have definitely been prevented, which is very unfortunate. It was only in a 4 inch pot, which is how I justify it to myself, even though I'm still really sad about it. But um, yeah, that was the last plant. So those are the plants I murdered. I hope this video hasn't been too long so far. Um, I also wanted to talk about plants that I am really struggling with, <laughs> but I don't know if there's still time. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. It was kind of a little sad one, but hopefully you guys will learn from my mistakes. I'm definitely going to learn from my mistakes and no more overwatering peperomia. <laughs> and just being more attentive to my plants in general but um if you guys have any tips for me definitely leave them in the comments below because i would love to learn from you guys i love getting tips from you guys it really helps me just feel more confident in taking care of my plants yeah leave any tips in the comments leave any plants that you might be struggling with and hopefully we can all just band together and give some advice on that plant <laughs> um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching today's video uh, please subscribe if you haven't already, give the video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!